TLE EPP6 Agriculture Quarter 2 Week 4 Let's learn about Propagates trees and fruit bearing trees Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like And share and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in TLE 6, we will discuss about propagates trees and fruit-bearing trees. For most essential learning competencies, propagates trees and fruit-bearing trees using scientific processes identifies the appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation and their uses, demonstrates scientific ways of propagating fruit-bearing trees, observes healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees. In this lesson, you will learn how to propagate trees and fruit-bearing trees using scientific processes identifies the appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation and their uses, demonstrates scientific way of propagating fruit-bearing trees, and observes healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees. Among the top exported fruits that are popular in the Philippines like mango, banana, pineapple, and papaya, which is your most favorite? Which is your least favorite? Do you know you can enjoy your very own fruit without buying in the grocery by simply planting your favorite fruit tree right in your backyard? The downside of using seeds and directly planting them is that it may take very long time for the trees to start bearing fruit. Fortunately, there are scientific processes that shorten the waiting time for the trees to bear fruits. Here are different ways of propagating fruit-bearing trees. Number 1. Sexual Propagation Propagation using viable seeds or seeds containing live embryo that will give rise to a new plant. These seeds have the capacity to germinate and grow. This is the most common and easiest method of propagating plants. Another way of propagating fruit-bearing trees is Number 2, Asexual Propagation Method of plant propagation that is done without the help of the sexual organ of the plant. It is the production of the new plants from leaves, stems, and roots. It can be done manually, either naturally or or using scientific approach. There are methods of asexual propagation. The first method is budding. In this method, a single bud forced to grow on the stalk. It uses one bud as the scion instead of the stem bearing several buds. Here are the procedures. Letter A, select a smooth area of the tree and cut T-shaped seed through the bark. B. Insert a well-developed bud from the bud stalk. C. Slip the bud on the T-shaped bud stalk and securely tie with a soft cord and plastic. D. Cut the plastic on the side away from the bud to prevent girdling once you see a new bud form. And letter E. Carefully cut the stalk when it reaches the height of 30 cm and paint the surface to prevent decay. The second method is grafting. In this method, a scion or top portion of a stem of a plant is joined with or inserted into the rootstock of another plant to make them grow together into one plant. The procedure are A. Sew a clean, smooth limb between 2 to 3 cm in diameter. B. Split the stub through the middle to make a clean slit. C. 
cut two scions about 10 to 15 centimeters long and sharpen the lower end to form a long, evenly tapering wedge. Letter D, open the cleft in the stub and insert the wedge-shaped end of a scion so that the innermost bark lies against the innermost bark of the split stub. And letter E, tie the united stem with plastic strip and let it grow for 1 to 2 years. The third method is mark cutting. A method that allows the stem to develop roots while still attached on the mother plant. The procedures are A. Remove a ring at the back of the branch of a healthy tree below the mold 3 to 5 cm long. B. Wrap the cut surface with a moist soil and wrap with coconut husk. C. Cover both ends with plastic and tie around with a twine to prevent drying of the rooting medium. D. Cut off the marcot when enough roots grow just below the ball of the soil that holds the roots. Then place it in a pot big enough to provide enough room for the roots to develop a branch. And letter E, remove some branches or leaves for fast growing of its roots before transplanting to the field. Here are the different tools and equipment used in plant propagation. The first one is letter A, pruning shear. Is used for cutting small branches including the unnecessary branches. Another tools and equipment used in plant propagation is... Letter B, budding knife. Is used for cutting and slicing planting materials. Another tool is Letter C, sprinklers. Used to water seedlings and young plants. Another tool is Letter D, garden scissors. Used for cutting grass and shaping the plant or shrub. Additional tools and equipment in plant propagation. Wooden matches or stakes for marketing or air layering. Tape, used to keep proper in place. Rooting hormone, used to promote growth. And pots for young newly rooted plants. Here are healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees. Number one, before working, make sure you have refreshed yourself like taking a bath in order to work well. Number two, always wear complete personal protective equipment which includes hairnet, hand gloves, apron, boots if needed, protective eyeglass, and face mask. Number three, make sure tools and equipment are working properly before using them. Number four, always follow instructions for use of equipment. And number five, focus on the work at hand. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. Number six, know your limits in working. Seek help whenever necessary. And number seven, work in proper position. Make sure you do not strain your back while working. And now, let's proceed to learning task 1. Read the statement carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write them in your answer sheet. Letter A, budding. B, marketing. C, grafting. D, planting. Number 1. It is one of the asexual propagation methods that allows the stem to develop roots while still on the mother plant. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, planting. Number 2 is a method wherein a scion or top portion of a stem of a plant is joined with or inserted into the rootstock of another plant to make them grow together into one plant. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C, grafting. Number 3. In this method, a single bud is forced to grow on the stalk. What is the correct answer? 
Very good! The correct answer is letter A, budding. And number four, a method that allows the stem to develop roots while still attached on the mother plant. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, marketing. For learning task 2, match column A to column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on a whole sheet of pad paper. Number 1. Garden Scissors How to use the garden scissor? Choose your answer from column B. Very good! The correct answer is letter E. Used for shaping the plant or shrub. Number 2. Budding Knife How do we use the budding knife? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Used for cutting and slicing plant. Number 3. Sprinklers. How do we use sprinklers? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Used to water seedlings and young plants. Number 4. Pruning shears. How do we use pruning shears? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. Used for cutting small branches. Number 5. How do we use tape? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Used in keeping the wrapper in place in grafting. And for learning task 3, solicit the help of the member of your family in doing this activity. Choose one method of asexual propagation that you will do. Write a narrative as to the progress of your asexual propagation activity from the beginning until the plant has grown. Make sure to include the step-by-step -step process in your narrative. Here are the indicators. Number 1, follow the step-by-step -step procedures in the chosen method of asexual propagation. Number 2, use appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation. Number 3, observe the health and safety measures in plant propagation. And number 4, manifested makakalikasan attribute. 16 to 20, very remarkable. 11 to 15, remarkable. 6 to 10, satisfactory. 1 to 5, unsatisfactory. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!